A very warm welcome to Chatham Town Football Club. This is the Kent Football Association Sunday Junior Cup Final. Range Rovers Sports against Park Regis Neo. Let's have a quick check on the two lineups ahead of kickoff. First of all, Range Rovers Sports, managed by Freddie Fayers, assisted by Oz Kane, and Glenn Conlon is the coach. They're in the blue and black striped shirts. Park Regis Neo in the bright yellow and black, managed by Peter Rogers, assisted by Justin Taylor, and the coach is Ash Taylor. Today's referee is Gavin Farrington, assisted by Josef Jordanov and Gary Beckett. Kenneth Storey is the fourth official. Free kick, Frank Phipps to take, right-footed. Oh, that's brilliant, right over the wall. It was powerful, it was accurate, it was precise and it was rather lavish too. What a way to make your mark in a cup final. Take a bow, Frank Phipps, it's a wonderful strike. Not just accurate, but powerful with it. There's nothing on earth that Oli Jury could do to keep it out. What a free kick that was. Corner kick to Range Rover Sports, looking to strike back. It's Gotcha! Off the post and in! The defender on the line couldn't keep it out. And Harry Gotcha, who climbs up above two defenders, heads Range Rover Sports back on level terms. Great delivery, but look at the leap from Gotcha. Between two defenders, the defender on the line heads it against the post. It comes back, hits him on the shoulders and drops over the line. Tom Mills. Crossing. Can. It's Gudger! It's another cracking head out from Harry Gudger. Once behind. Range Rovers Sports now lead by two goals to one. It's a great cross. And look at the run by Goodger across the defender and empowers the header into the net past Reese Heisman. Corner kick. Harry Taylor will swing it in from the left hand side. Good delivery, and the header flies into the back of the net. It's Shane Hardy, the captain, up from the back, has equalised. Park Regis Neo have clawed their way back into this cup final. Great delivery from Taylor, and a super header from Shane Hardy. The captain rescues it for Park Regis. That's the final whistle. Two, two. So down to penalties. First one is Mark Abbott. Drills that low and hard. And despite the goalkeeper guessing right, it went in. One, one. Confident spot kick. Joe Sands, oh, he's blazing over the top of the crossbar. That hands the advantage to Park Regis Neo. Roll back. Sends the goalkeeper the wrong way, 2-1. Dan Walder really needs to score this. I think he might have slipped slightly, but he still drilled it home. 2-2. Two -two. Charlie Taylor. And there goes the advantage. The spot kick flies over the crossbar. Tom Carlton. Sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. Dan Organ. Saves brilliantly. Oh, that's a wonderful save from Ollie Dewey. 
stretched and got his right hand behind it. Good job. Oh, he's missed. Two goals in normal time, but he misses for the spot kick. Must score, James Rogers. Oh, a brilliant save. It was a good penalty. It was headed to the top corner, and somehow Ollie Dewey has managed to keep it out. And he's won the cup for Range Rover Sports. A dramatic save, a dramatic finale, and a victory for the stripes of Range Rover Sports. And their hero is the goalkeeper, who is the player of the match, Ollie Dewey. He will look back at that save at the end of the penalty shootout over and over again. And it will just get better and better. Tough luck on Park Regis Neo. Certainly played their part in, part in an epic final. Just wasn't to be for them today. And up to collect their winners' medals, Range Rovers Sports. It tends you 10 0 in the first round. Plenty of Midway and Victor, New Cross Rovers, Charlton and Druids. Druids were all beaten en route to the final. They've now beaten Park Regis Neo. And their captain, Aidan Kane, has got his hands on the Kent Sunday Junior Cup. Congratulations, Range Rovers Sports.